Hey, what's going on YouTube? If you're new to my channel, my name is D and I represent New Touch Auto. In this video, we're gonna get into something pretty much on the basic side. But before I do that, I wanna talk about basic cars. A lot of times y'all see these Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Pontiac, I don't care what it is. They all look the same. And I'm gonna tell you why. Let you in on a little secret. They want you to do your own thing to your own ride. Everybody don't like the same thing, man. Y'all gotta keep that in mind. Some people just different. Some people, <laughs> some people it don't take much, man. You don't need that flashy lifestyle or this color, that color. It can be simple. You wanna see more of that right there? Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Now today, we got some customization that we're gonna be getting into today, so you gotta stay focused. We're gonna be working on the Ford Explorer. It's like a newer model, but it's gonna, it's gonna need some work. You can't go out like that. We're gonna be doing them wheels, permanent black. And then we're gonna hit the body, anthracite gray. But not only that, I'm gonna apply it with that dip on them. Dip Armor is going to make it a little bit more, well, a whole lot more easy to clean when it comes down to the maintaining. Now, if you're using Dip Armor, keep in mind, I'm using Anthracite Gray. Anthracite Gray has like a metallic finish, but it's not like a high pearl finish, so therefore it's going to have a matte finish regardless. Dip Armor and pearls, you got to know this, man, that any pearls that you use with Dip Armor, it's going to rob it. It's going to make it look like a matte finish. So if you're looking for that high sheen of a satin finish, Dip Arm is not the way to go. You might want to stay away from that and just stick with your satin finishes. Your dip pearl top coats or your satin clears when it comes to Proline. That's a note for you. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this car prepped, washed, everything, and get it ready before I start spraying. If you want to know how to do that, prep your vehicle, check out that link above me. That link will pretty much guide you on my way that I like to prep my vehicles. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll see y'all in a minute.
our YouTube, we reached the end of the video. Now what I like to do is pretty much take you around the vehicle, give you a small tour, and let you know what I did to it. Let's go. Anthracite gray. Anthracite gray. Oh my goodness. Lace with that dip armor. We got the wheels glossy. Permanent black wheels. Matches that tint. Gray and black. All the way through. I mean, it don't take much. A lot of times people think they got to do so much to their vehicle. You don't got to do much. It don't have to be that flashy color. It can be something simple. Now, if you like this video, let me know. You got something you want to drop in the comment section you want to ask about this vehicle? Drop it down and I'll get to you ASAP. Those who have subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate that because the support takes me a long way. It keeps me going. Those who haven't subscribed, listen, that button is free down there. Go ahead and hit that button. I thank y'all and I appreciate y'all for checking out this video. I'll catch y'all on the next one.